Hello, my pretties. <sighs> it is such a beautiful day outside. And it's, the sun is going down, but still up. So I'm taking this opportunity to be outside and to show you what I got today. Let me take it out of my bag. My male person is like the best. Anytime it's about to rain or it is raining, they put my my packages in a bag so they don't get ruined. But today I have my stitch fix. Um I know it's early. You know it's early. Like this is actually supposed to come next week. But I don't know what to do. That's okay. All right, for those who don't know what Stitch Fix is, it is a styling subscription box. You get five pieces. Uh, and there's normally a $20 styling fee. I do have the style pass, which is uh, you know, $50 for the year and negates my whole $20 signing fee for every month for a year. If you like all five pieces, you get an additional 25% off your entire order. <sighs> you know, last month was not a good month for me and Stitch Fix. I've been told by some people I was being mean, but sometimes you have to get your, me your point across. Um, but after that video, um, Stitch Fix did send me a little email saying that they're not going to put Paisley in my boxes ever again. And they will, you know, push more edgy clothes. Let's see how they did. There's always a prepackaged bag, I mean pre-shipping bag to send anything back you don't want. Here's my little thing with the prices and my letter. Normally you get to send your your stylist a letter and a note if there's anything coming up or anything that you're really really wanting but I didn't like I was so perturbed from last month I was like why why would I bother you don't listen to me anyway but here is their note to me it says hi Gladys Welcome to fix number 18. As always, I'm excited to style you again. I apologize for mixing, missing the mark the last fix. I went for edgier today. I am hoping I did better. I saw a pair of camel pants on your Pinterest. So I started with the cut from the cloth. Aslan Capri camo. I love camo. Like, I just love it. I know it's getting warmer in Williamstown. Like, you know where Williamstown is. So, these will be perfect. To, to pair with these, I sent the Cupio Blush Brandly Top. This is so comfortable. To complete this look, I sent the CV's Monterey sneakers. This outfit will be stylish and really comfortable. I saw a jumpsuit you had pinned, so I thought I would send an option. Okay. The Kaylee Aura jumpsuit will be great to wear out to dinner or on the weekends. I know you prefer 
to have layers if you have a sleeveless option. Do you need jackets or cardigans for summer too? Let me know what you think, XOXO Katie. All right, so camo pants, sneakers, a jumpsuit that I've never had a jumpsuit. So let me get in here. All right, we're gonna first start with the bag, the separate bag. These are the sneakers. Oh, I like these. Nice olive color. Yeah. Let's see. These CVs Monterey canvas lace up sneakers in olive, size 10, $68. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to keep an open mind. But really, it's sneakers. You can't go wrong. The burrito, what's it look like? Okay. Bin. All right, here are the cut from the cloth camo capri. I don't mind this at all. My husband's gonna hate them. He hates capris for some reason. He just hates them. These are in a size 14. All right, the cut from the cloth, Aslan printed. Wait, does that, does that actually? There's, Yeah, it does say that. It says Aslan print pork. Like like the meat. Pork chop pocket street capri pants. That is a strange strange description. These are eighty eighty eight dollars. Okay. Seems awfully a lot for for a half of a pant. Okay, here is the jumper that she was talking about. It's kind of like stripes. You get a little bit of diamond motif in here. This looks like it'll be really comfortable. Let's see. The Kaylee Aura Knit Crop Jumpsuit in black. I love black. It's a large, and this is $58. Okay. All right. Did I really pin this? I don't remember. Maybe pinning something close to this, but not that. I don't know. All right. She didn't mention this at all in the letter, but this is from Liverpool. It's the Sandy Chambray shirt. You get a little bit of a detail in the back there, which I like. Oh, like, I don't mind a chambray shirt. I have quite a few. It's all about how it fits. How it fits here, how it fits across the back, you know, in the arms. It's all about that fit. All right. And this is $68 as well. She kind of went up there in price, huh? Alright, and my last item. Ooh. Things comfy. Alright. Here. That is... This is the Kupio 
blush, Brandley one pocket knit top, with black, large, $28. Okay, I see what you, she's talking about this with the camo. Yeah. And this is really soft. All right, so my thoughts so far. This is, none of this is bad. None of this. It's gonna now go to how well it fits. And, um, and do I wanna spend that price? But I have to say that this is not edgy. This is comfortable. Like all these pieces look very comfortable. But not so edgy. So let me try these on. I'll be right back. Okay, here's the first outfit. What do you think? This shirt is really comfortable. These pants are comfortable too. The shoes are comfortable to a point. Like Alright, shirt is just a plain shirt. There's nothing special about it. Uh, the pants fit nicely. The butt is fine. Except for down here. I had to roll it up because there was this weird flare. Like, do you see that? It's like it's made for someone with a thicker calf, maybe? And there's just all this extra. Which is, looks weird to me. So I just rolled it up twice. The shoes, the sneakers. Mind you, I don't mind sneakers. But if I was like out walking my feet would be killing me my toes my toes would be killing me so and that's not a good thing but I could totally see myself you know lazy day wearing this or um, walk on the boardwalk at night in this being totally comfortable all right, let me go try on the others. Here is the chambray top from Liverpool. It fits in the arms, you know, fits in the chest, and I have extra, you know, um, privacy in case anything gets a little tight. Fits in the back. I do like this detail back here. Makes it a little fun. Again, nothing wrong with this, but I do have other chambray tops that give me a better figure. So, yeah. So, I don't know about this. Like, it's not bad to have, but, and I would wear it. But I don't know how not how I would wear it, but like how how useful it would be. Yeah. Since I have others like it already. And that would be kinda wasteful. Alright. One more. Here is the jumpsuit. Somehow, I don't know, I forgot to press play on, on this one. The pattern doesn't bother me. Um, this is really comfortable and it has pockets. Pockets is a girl's best friend, especially when you're trying to be comfortable. 
you know, and also it helps with other things as well. I'll get to that. Um, this is really covering. It covers all of this. The armholes are fine. Here's the back. You know, there's nothing special about it, but it is comfortable. And there's a lot of ease in, in the bottom half. You know, you have elastic in the waist so that if you're eating or you're bloated, you have space. And also, the pockets help with, you know, the crotch area. I like, you know, releasing of any wedgies that you may get. You know, I could see myself walking down the boardwalk this and a pair of sandals and just being comfortable because really in the summer that's what you want to feel you want to feel comfortable but it's hot you don't want anything sticking to you and would I say this is a sexy outfit no would I say this is edgy no but it is comfortable let me do one more spin so you can get a total view. Alright, hi. I'm back in my regular clothes. Just chilling. Back with my final thoughts. bag ready. Alright. Cool. Let's start off with these sneakers. Really cute. But they hurt. They hurt along the back of my heel. And what I can see is you know, walking and walking and walking. And then you end up with blisters. No one wants blisters. No one wants uncomfortable sneakers. No one. Okay. These just don't work for my feet. These CBs for $68. $68 that I ain't keeping. Mm -hmm. Alright, we have the jumpsuit, which I didn't mind. Wasn't special, but wasn't terrible either. This would be nice for, you know, summertime. It's comfortable. You've got room. And no one wants, you know, to feel hot and sticky and like your clothes just stuck to you during the summer. But I'm still on the fence about it. Let's see. This Kaylee Aura Knit Crop Jumpsuit was $58. So let's just put that there. Alright. Next we have the Cupio Blush Brandly One Pocket Knit Top. This was $28. This was really comfy. comfy. Again, nothing special though really comfy and made me look you know made my figure look pretty good so we're gonna put that to the side all right next we have this Liverpool sandy chambray top I think this is my nothing special box. I have other ones like it. Do I need another? And also, this costs $68. I kind of feel like, no, I don't. The other ones, you know, fit me better, make me look, you know. I'm not saying I'm supermodel, but make me look 
you know, like I have a good figure. So, I'm going to put this in the bag. There was not, there's nothing wrong with it, but nothing special about it either. Especially to buy another shirt like that. And lastly, we have the cut from the cloth. Aislinn printed crop pants and camo. These were really cute. Especially rolled up at the edge to, you know, make it fit to my leg. I really like these. And these are a whopping $88. Ooh. I don't like that price. So, altogether, if I kept all five items that's three hundred and ten dollars that's not cheap if I kept all five I would have a discount of seventy seven fifty which brings my subtotal to three I mean three two thirty two fifty hmm Do I keep the three pieces? Do I keep just the two? I don't know. I really don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Alright. Bye.